Just close our eyes for a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, this is the day which thou have made. We rejoice in it and we are glad in it. We commit the proceedings of this, this night into your hands. Lord, we thank you for all the saints that's here tonight. We appreciate the pastor and all the officers and every member and all the visitors who are here today. I pray that may the master touch them, almighty God. We commit everything into your hands, even the reading of the word and everything, almighty God, we commit it into your hands. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. Um, I greet you, all friends, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm very happy to be here. I believe you are happy as well. Um, let's just read a scripture, then we take the comfort of our seats. Um, where are we supposed to read? Let's take Zechariah chapter 4. Zechariah chapter 4, I believe you're already there. Okay, verse 6, the Bible says, um, Okay, verse, five, verse 5, Then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me, Know thou not what this be? And I said, No. My Lord, then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by power, not by mighty, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Amen. Okay, we may be seated. <clears throat> Are we together? Amen. Verse 7. Who art thou, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? Thou shalt be, become a plain, and he shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shoutings, grace, grace, uh, unto it. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house, and his hands shall also finish it, and thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto you. Uh, for who has despised the days of small things? For they shall rejoice and shall see the plummet raised in the hand of Zerubbabel with those servants. They are the eyes of the Lord which ran to and fro throughout the earth. Then I answered and said unto him, What are these two olive trees upon the right side of the candlesticks and upon the left side thereof? And I, and I answered again and said unto me, What be these two olive branches with thou? Uh, which through the two golden pipes emptied the golden oil out of themselves. And he answered and said unto me, Knoweth not thou what this be? And I said, No, my Lord. And then he said, These are the two anointed ones that shall stand, uh, uh, the anointed that shall stand by the Lord of all the earth. But nevertheless, we are much interested in verse 4, verse 5, 6, and 7. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. Um, I want to appreciate your pastor for the invitation. Uh, we are happy to be here uh, in honor of that uh, invitation. Amen. Amen. Uh, we really appreciate him so much. Uh, we enjoyed when uh, he came over, you know, last year in uh, August. We really had a wonderful time, I believe. The saints on this side, you enjoyed yourself, sir. Amen. 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 You did not enjoy it because I was expecting somebody to say, oh, sure, I enjoy it. Oh. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. If you did not enjoy it, there is always another chance with God. So there is going to be another chance, don't you worry. Amen. Amen. So uh, I really want to appreciate the company of the saints from my fields who are here with us tonight. May the Lord bless them uh, mightily. That's my prayer tonight. Amen. And to all the ministering brothers, I want to say God bless you. Amen. 
Uh, then Jesus says one time uh, when he was talking about John, he said, what when you out to see a reed shaken with the wind and so on and so on? He said, but among them that's a born of women, there's nobody who is like unto him unto this day. But if it was today, then he was going to say, indeed, you have gone to see a wind shaken, in, uh, shaken in, uh, by waters. Because we are just in nothing, you see. Uh, like, uh, you see, we, in Israel, there were so many cities, but there were also some other little useless cities like Bethlehem and uh, so on. We are that kind of people, amen. The most useless ones, amen. But we are happy that uh, the useless ones are also here just to say, how are you? I believe it will be fine, amen. amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. amen. But you see... Um, I got a bit terrified when I came over here because I was seeing, you know, that I was reading, you know, the level of expectation upon each and every face here. Then, you know, it terrifies me. I said, how well, but uh, I believe I'm not the right person to be here. Amen. Praise be to God. We've got nothing to say. We've got nothing to offer. You know, the message has produced so many great preachers, but at the same time, it has produced so many little preachers like myself. So... Uh, but we are happy to be here just to be with you saints, just to say, uh, come over again this, uh, uh, come over again in um, this coming August. Uh, we are going to arrange something for you. It will be, uh, we'll be so glad to see all your happy faces over there in Zimbabwe. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. Are you happy this, this evening? Um, but you see, because I'm standing before you, I'm supposed to say something. Whether I can say something, whether I can't say something, I am obligated to say something. Amen. Amen. So we'll try to say something. By God's grace, amen. Ah, okay, then are you ready? Amen. Okay, friends. We read the Bible from the book of Zechariah chapter 4. The Bible says... Um, then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me, uh, uh, Knoweth thou not what this thing, what this be? And I said, No, my Lord. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, It's not by power, it's not by mighty, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Amen. Are we together? Yes. Okay, get that in mind. And he goes on to say, um, then he answered and spake unto me, saying, okay, no, 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 verse 7, Who art thou, great mountain before Zerubbabel? Um, thou shalt become a plain, and they shall bring forth the head descent thereof with the shoutings, crying, grace, grace unto it. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Then I feel pity tonight for those brothers from Zimbabwe, because I got nothing new to say. I'm going to say what I've already said in Zimbabwe, so you are here for nothing. <laughs> you better take your flight back home. Amen. But however, the Bible, Jesus used to say, verily, verily, I say unto you. Amen. So in Zimbabwe, I said, verily, here I'm saying, verily. Amen. To complete, verily, verily, I say unto you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, Matthew chapter 1, are you there? This, uh, the book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham, the son Abraham beget Isaac, Isaac beget Jacob, Jacob beget Judas and his brethren. Judas beget Phares and, Ph and Zara uh, of Tamar and Phares beget Ezra, Ezra beget Aram, Aram beget Aminadab, Aminadab beget Nason and Nason beget Salmon. And Solomon beget Boaz of Rab, and Boaz beget Obed of Ruth, and Obed beget Jesse, and Jesse beget David the king, and David the king beget Solomon of Ye that has been the wife of Urias. Did you hear that? And Solomon beget Rehoboam, and Rehoboam beget Abia, and Abia beget Asa, and Asa beget Jehoshaphat, and Jehoshaphat beget, 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 and begetting, and begetting, and begetting. God bless you. Praise be to God. 
Are we together, friends? Yes. Praise be to God. Amen. We are happy to be here. Amen. Let's put our hands together and say hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Then where are we supposed to start and where are we supposed to end? Okay. Let's just start off from what the prophet is saying here. He says, think of it. Love and grace is sisters. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Twin sisters. Amen. You can't have a grace without having love. Amen. They are twin sisters. That's exactly right. Before you can have grace, you have to love. Before you can actually so show somebody favor, you love them. Right or wrong. You have to love them anyhow and you can't, you see. So, love and grace is the same thing. They are just twin sisters, that's all. Love and grace, they were, oh, okay, we can't see one without the other. Praise be to God. You can't meet one without the other. Yeah. You can't see one without the other. Yeah. You can't talk to one without the other. Yeah. They are twin sisters. They are inseparable. Yeah. Are we together? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, so we can't see one without the other. That's right. God so loved the world and he gave his only begotten son. Yeah. He shed his grace abroad in our hearts through the Holy Ghost. There is just nothing you can do without waking one with the other. Grace, grace of God, this is what saves us. Now we find out that grace, there is, uh, there is like the dying thief. No wonder the, it inspired the poet when they see it. One poet say, the dying thief rejoiced to see my day. Yeah. That fountain in his day, yeah. they may I the vile as ye wash all my sins away. Ever since by faith I saw the, that stream, thy flowing on supply, redeeming love has been my theme, and shall be till I die. Then a no, in a nobler, a sweeter song, I will sing thy power to save. When this poor, lisping, stammering tongue lies silent in the grave. Are we together this, this evening? Amen. Praise be to God. Are we together? So the prophet is saying there, Love and grace are twin sisters. Amen. You can't have one without the other. Amen. You can't meet one without the other. Amen. Amen. And he goes on to say, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. That's the explanation of, uh, of what the prophet was saying. Amen. He's saying love and grace are twin sisters. Amen. Then the twin part of it comes in that scripture. Yeah. That for God so loved the world. He did not end there by loving. God so loved the world. But that was not enough. He goes on to say, and he gave. He loved the world. And that was not enough. Because love and grace, they are twin sisters. So God is so loved. That's the loving part. That's the other twin. Amen. God is so loved. Then the other twin is. Then he gave. Praise the name of the Lord. The giving part is the grace part. Are we together? Because the prophet says. When love projects, praise the name of the Lord. When love comes to its limit, then sovereign grace, for God is so loved, then sovereign grace has to take over and provide a savior. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Are we together, friends? Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. So this is what we want to talk about. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. So we want to talk about the message of grace. For God is so loved the world. And he gave his only begotten son. Praise be to God. When love projects, then sovereign grace will automatically take over and, and provide that which is required. Are we together? Yes, Hallelujah. Praise be to God. And the prophet goes on to say, uh, grace knows one color. When grace looks at anything, it knows one color. And the color is white. Praise the name of the Lord. When you look at anything, grace recognizes and grace sees one color. In other words, grace has got the ability to deny anything else. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. In other words, praise be to God. Grace can say, Amen. I have not seen nothing. Then they brought this other lady who was caught right in the act to Jesus. And Jesus began to write something which he was writing. I don't know what he was writing, but I'm talking about the amazing grace of Jesus Christ. I'll speak the sound. I don't know what he was writing about. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And Jesus lifted up his eyes. He said, Lady, where are your accusers? She says, I don't know. Jesus says, Even myself, I cannot accuse you. Praise be to God. Are we together, friends? So these grace and love are twin sisters. They coexist. They are inseparable. In other words, when you look at, uh, uh, at it from this other angle, you can say it's love. Then when you turn it around, you can talk about grace. Praise the name of the living God. That's what I'm talking about tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. My, 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 my. So the grace I'm talking about yeah. is more than able and capable mm -hmm. of denying a ready-handed case. Yes. You may try to plead. Yes. You may try to convince. You may try to judge. But the grace will say, what I'm looking at here is not black, it's not brown, it's not pink, but it's white. Somebody say hallelujah. My, 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 my. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. For God is so loved the world. Then he gave. Praise be to God. Are we together, friends? When love will project, then sovereign grace will take over. In other ways, when the same love gets into action, that's what we call grace. My yes. praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be his holy name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. My, 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 my. We got a lot of things to say here. But what are we supposed to say? Okay. Then the prophet goes on to say, um, the grace, God's grace is like this. Are we together? Amen. Now listen. God's grace is like this. That's your prophet. Let me tell you a story in the ending. God's grace is like this. One time there was a mighty king. And this mighty king had a son. And it was his only son. And one day a murderer killed that boy and through the kingdom when they delegate hunting for that murderer, they finally found him. They found that murderer. And when they found him, they brought him back and imprisoned him. And when they did, a trial was set and a sentence was made. Oh, it was a, a terrible thing. He had murdered the king's son and he knows what was coming to him. 
He has touched the untouchable. And he knew what was coming after him. Praise the name of the Lord. Do we have somebody here whom the enemy has taken advantage? I am here to say, Satan has touched the untouchable. My, 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 my. So they put him into the inner cell. This was before a sentence was made. They simply took him and put him into the inner cell. They locked the doors of that cell. They put pads on it and the guards around it. Keys were not enough. They put the keys on it. And even any guards on it to guard the keys. Amen. Because we know what kind of a horrible punishment this boy was going to receive. Because he killed the king's son, the royal king's son, God was placed all around the doors. He was in the inner cell, stripped with nothing, a, a, a loincloth, and there he was, sitting there in that condition, starving, wouldn't give him nothing to eat. He was sitting in that condition. Amen. Amen. This man was inside the inner cell. Praise the name of the Lord. Are we together, friends? They put everything there, the guards and everything. They could not give him food. They did not give him anything. They stripped him of all the clothing and everything else. So he was right there in the corner of that inner cell. Yes. Amen. They, they did not give him nothing to eat, no water, no nothing. Then they brought him out to a trial. He was found guilty and proven guilty. He was found guilty and proven guilty. A sentence was made that he was to be executed under horrible uh, capital punishment. He was to be killed by inches until his mortal life was gone. Slowly but surely until the mortal life was gone. Praise the name of the Lord. Are we together? uh, Sentenced by the judge. He was to die. And he begged and he cried and he said, though I am guilty, though I am guilty, I am sorry that I did what I did. He weed, I have never done it. I'm sorry that I did it. In a moment, in a rage and timber, I did it. I didn't mean to do it that way. And one day, after everything was done, after the sentence and everything was done, then the father himself, he went down to the place to visit that boy to hate it from the horse's mouth. Tell to, to ask him, to talk to him, uh, to tell him about the killing of his only son, the only son that he had. So he killed that boy. He said, I'm going down to talk to him. And when he went down there, he looked back in that cage like a caged animal. Yeah. That boy was in that state. He was like a caged animal. Yeah. He saw his little skinny body. Lying there in a corner, just a heap of bones with a a skin uh, wrapping around the bones. His jaws sank back. His eyes went back. Matter was all his eyes. And his mouth was all whited over. No water. Thirsty lying back there on his face crying. The king said, stand up. And he stood up and looked at him. He said, why did you kill my son? What did my son do to you? What did he do to merit such a death as you killed him? Stabbing him to death with a spear. He said, nothing, my Lord, not one thing. Just my own impudence, just my own ways. I killed him because I was jealous of him. And I got a temper fit. I killed him, said, I am to die under your justice, sir. I realized I deserve to do it. Only thing I'm crying for, that I'm sorry, that I killed that royal, bo- that royal man like that without a cause. Then the king turned his heels and walked out of that prison cell. He went back to his desk and he said, destroy all the records. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Then the prophet says, that's what the grace of God is all about. Amen. He went back to his desk. He said, destroy all the records. Starting from the policeman's pocket. Destroy everything. Amen. Destroy all the court proceedings. Destroy everything. 
tear away all the records. Wash him up and bring him up to me. I will send it down to him a robe. Sending a robe to a murderer who has killed his only boy. After a while, a great big limousine drove up to the door. When it did, a carpet was spread to the prison cell from the limousine right to the prison cell. Uh, to the prison cell. The king stood at the end of the limousine and he says, Come on, my son. Come, my son, and ride home with me to the palace. Then the prophet said, That's what the grace of God is all about. Put the king's robe around his shoulder. He said from henceforth, you are now my son because I had pity. And the prophet says, that's a grace. Yeah. Praise the holy name of the Lord. Yeah. Then he started to sing amazing grace. How sweet the sound that is saved a range like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I once was blind, but now I see. Praise the name of the living God. Are you happy tonight? That's why the grace of God is all about. Praise be to God. Are we together, friends? Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Then the prophet one time, he went to this other public place. He saw this other old granny right on the dance floor. She was busy dancing to all the worldly music. And the prophet, under the anointing of Elijah, he said, Lord, why can you sweep away all this dead and fill the from before our face? Praise the name of the Lord. As he was thinking around that, then another boy came over and he started to dance with that old granny. The prophet said, she's, she's supposed to be my grandmother. But now you see, what the hell is she doing over here? And the prophet said, Lord, please send hell fire and wipe away everything from the face of the earth. While the prophet was busy thinking along those lines, while the prophet was busy judging the situation, while the, the prophet was busy bringing fire and hailstones upon that little grandmother, praise the name of the Lord, he said, all of a sudden, I went into another dimension. He said, I saw a golden cross. Praise the name of the Lord. And blood dripping from the cross of Calvary, raining upon that little mama, raining upon that little lady. He said, all of a sudden, amen, my attitude changed. And when I changed my attitude, I looked at the same situation. I looked at the same grandmother. Why did he so? Grace sees the color white. Praise the name of the living God. If you are seeing the black in the next brother, the problem is not the brother. The problem is the lenses that you are using to look at that other brother. Otherwise, you are supposed to look through the blood. When you look through the blood, the blood you will see the color white. And the prophet looked again at the same situation. He was judging. And the prophet says, I saw the blood upon that little lady. He said, I went over there. He said, Granny, have you heard about Jesus? She says, I am who I am because I've never heard of Jesus. And the prophet said, but I, you can give your life to him. She said, it's a, you, you, you can, I can do it even now. They kneeled it down over there and she gave her life to Jesus. That's why the grace of God is all about. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Are we together? Then the people in the churches, you know, they, they tend to forget. Amen. Praise be to God. We are forgiven so that we can forgive. God has shown us grace so that we can show another many grace. Blessed be the name of the living God. Are we together, friends? Amen. You must be gracious to another person. You must be you must be gracious to another person. You must forgive another fellow. Praise the name of the Lord. Because things will happen in our churches. People will say to step in our churches. People
people will go out and come back in our churches. But what is needed is a church that knows about the message of grace. Yes. Hallelujah. We are full of churches with closed doors. They don't want anyone in. They thought we are, we are, we are, we are fine over here. We are not yet fine. We want every backslidden man back to the fold. Come and go with me to my father's house. Praise the name of the Lord. Are we together? I was saying back home. I was saying, you see, if a brother just backslides, and when he returns back to church, you don't even want to see him with, or open with a word of prayer. Not even praying for Sadza. Praise the name of the Lord. But let's talk about the message of grace. Praise the name of the living God. Are we together, friends? Now the prophet goes on to say, but now according to prophecy, there will come a headstone. And I want you to notice that when the headstone comes, the prince that is going to cry out the message will cry, grace, grace. For it is by grace that we are saved, not of works. Because it's not by power, it's not by mighty, but it is by the grace of almighty God. Everything around many kind borders around amazing grace. Not by power, not by might, not what you can do, not what you deserve, but unmerited favor from heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever you have in life, you don't merit it. It's just by grace. Even your work is by grace. Your wife is by grace. Your church is by grace. Everything around men, because the message of grace, amen, is the, is the most important message. It's the link between the heaven and the earth. It's the link between God and men. My, 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 my. Praise be to God. Are we together, friends? Blessed be the name of the living God. Hey. Amen. Okay, we don't have enough time here. Amen. Amen. Now listen to what the prophet is saying. Now, grace is old. Grace is as old as the world is. Praise the name of the Lord. Are we together, friends? Grace is old. Praise the holy name of the Lord. What are we talking about? The prophet says, God did not start by creating a fish. No. God started by creating the waters. Before he created the fish. He provided a solution before a problem emerges. So, the message of grace is God providing a solution before a problem emerges in the Garden of Eden. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Are we together, friends? If you got a need tonight, what is started is not your need. Amen. When a deer is burning for the water brooks, it means the water brooks are there. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Somebody has to believe that the water brooks are there. Hallelujah. Whatever you desire, what it means. The thing that the quenches that is thirst has already been there. In other ways, the solution to any problem is older than the problem. <laughs> Hallelujah. Your sickness is not older than your healing, but your healing is older than your sickness. Praise the holy name of the Lord. What are we talking about? 
the, the grace of God has been the solution to the problems of many kind. In other words, grace is stronger than all the weaknesses in the world put it together. What about the weakness of one man? What about the weakness of one family? What about the weakness of one church? The weakness of one individual? Grace is greater than your weakness. Grace is stronger than every chain of captivity. Because the message of grace is in the book of Isaiah. When they took the book and handed it over to Jesus, he started to preach the message of grace. Why did he say? He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me to preach the glad tidings of the good, to set the captives free. What was he talking about? He was preaching about the message of grace. My. This is the problem that we have with the polygamists. They misunderstood the spoken word. When the prophet preached the message, marriage and divorce, he was not preaching about marriage and divorce because actually there is no divorce in heaven. He cannot preach about divorce. No, sir. But actually, he was preaching about the message of grace. That is the reason why he said, in my church here, there are people in this condition, and in that condition, and in other condition. But I say, whatever it is, what was that? That was the message of grace. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. So the waters were there before the fish. The solution was there before the problem. Praise the holy name of the living God. Are we together, friends? Yes. So the proverb is saying here, grace is old. It's older than your weaknesses. It's older than your shortcomings. It's older than your problems. You might tell me this sister, oh my, she's talkative. But the grace of God I'm talking about is older than the talkative of that one. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Whatever it is, grace is the big brother to every problem that's under the sun. So in other ways, every problem must salute grace. Even tonight, every problem has to salute. Praise the name of the Lord. We are here to preach the message of grace so that all the problems all the situations may say I salute you because the grace is older grace is as old as the world is grace was the first shown to the human race when we heard the beginning of the human race listen to that Brother Branham did not say grace started when the human race started. Grace was first shown. It was first manifested. It was first revealed. So in other words, God in heaven, he created a man with weaknesses. So that the weaknesses of men can reveal what has been already there. My, 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 my. What are the seven redemptive names of Jehovah? The seven redemptive names of Jehovah are the solutions to the problems of mankind provided by God before the creation of mankind. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Wave your hands and say glory to God. Praise the holy name of the living God. Are we together, friends? When God was by himself, hallelujah, when God was by himself, a 
Amen. He had some attributes in him. Actually, in other words, he had certain attributes that were bothering him. That were pricking him time after time. Yeah. That were saying, when am I going to be manifested? Yeah. I'm lying dormant here. Yeah. I'm doing nothing here. Yeah. I feel I'm underutilized. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Grace was underutilized. And God created you so that grace can be fully utilized. What are we talking about? I have not done it in the first place. I have not done it in the first place. I am justified not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Not what I have done, not what I merited, but what he has already done. Not that day at Calvary, but the lamb was slain before Calvary. The lamb was slain before the garden of Eden. The lamb was slain before the beginning of the beginning. So anything that began is his Anything that begins is younger than grace. Hallelujah. He wanted to be worshipped. Are we together? Then he created the angels to worship him. Hallelujah. And then angels began to worship. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we magnify your holy name. Oh, we lift up, up our holy hands. Be praised, oh God. Hallelujah. God loves worship. More than you asking for a car. That is the reason why those who know the order of prayer, they they start by worshiping before they ask. Because when you worship, God gets into a mood of supplying. Hey man, what gets God into the mood is worship. Somebody must worship tonight. Let me worship. Lord, I adore you. There is in any other way like unto you. There is no God like Jehovah. There is no God like our God. Somebody say praise God. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Praise be to God. And the Bible says that God dwells in the, in the praises of his children. Let's praise him. We'll bring him down by praises. We don't bring God down by much asking. We'll take the advantage of his coming, then we ask. Amen. That is the reason why we need him in our churches. We need the presence of God in our gates. When we come together like this, he has to come down so that the sick will take advantage. Those who need will take advantage. Those who are in need will take advantage of his presence. So our objective is not the asking. Our objective is to bring him down from his chair. Is to bring the throne here. Is to bring the mercy seat here. When the mercy city is here, then he ask you what you want. Amen. Hallelujah. My, my, my. Amen. Amen. Are we together? So, when angels begin to worship, then this attribute of being a savior begin to bother you. He says, you know, we don't want favoritism here. This brother of mine is enjoying himself. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. Are we together, friends? Then God in heaven says, let me now create man. Hallelujah. Are we together, friends? But before he created man, 
He said, for many to fail, I don't need to create an enemy of man. I need to create my own enemy. Measuring the enemy's might with my might, not with the might of a man. Because the prophet says, when God created his enemy, he created the number one. Not a cheap one. No. God does not fight cheap battles. No. Those ones who live to say to the Sunday school team, praise the name of the Lord. He does not fight cheap battles. He created a real enemy. When he created his own enemy, he puts him over there. He said, oh yeah, this one will give me a hard time. But however, my DNA is to overcome. Praise the name of the living God. Are we together, friends? Amen. Before he knew it not, he was already amid these angels who were worshipping. He said, oh my. He's being worshipped alone. I'm also supposed to worship right now. Then he went in among the angels. And he drew the two thirds of the angels. Two thirds. And gold was left in heaven with one third. But gold with one third of angels did not cry and say, My way, Lucifer will assassinate me because he got two thirds. No. That's not how he fights his battles. One man with gold is more than a battalion. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's leave that one aside. Then he created man. So that the devil may tempt man. Are we together friends? What for? Because grace is old. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. When Adam sinned. Praise the name of the Lord. Then in God there was another attribute. There was a certain attribute. We said, oh yeah. Now I'm being utilized. Praise the name of the living God. So, but however, we are simply saying here, before all this drama, grace was already provided. Because love and grace are twins. And that Jehovah himself is love. Praise the name of the living God. So grace is old. Yeah. Let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. Are we together? My, 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 my. And the prophet says, you know, this grace we are talking about, it has to be sovereign grace. Sovereign grace can only come from a sovereign one. Grace we does not ask anyone. Because it's coming from the sovereign one. So it is sovereign grace from the sovereign being. Hallelujah. Do you see that, friends? Blessed be the name of the Lord. No matter how much you hate that other sister seated next to you, that will not change nothing in heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. Because grace is sovereign. It will never knock at your door and say, what did you think about saving this other one? No! It will never knock at your door and say, but what do you think if we bring this other brother to your church? Praise the name of the Lord. Maybe you are here because you ran away from that brother. But the sovereign grace is capable of going to your problem and bring it here without asking you. Okay, let's leave that one. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Let's leave everything. Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Okay, let's leave, let's leave, let's leave everything. Let's leave everything. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. Let's close by saying, you know, it's evening service, man. We are not supposed to take long. Okay. Let's close by saying, then the message, uh, Israel and the church, the prophet says, <laughs> election 
in Abraham. Justification in Isaac. Grace in Jacob. Anybody that ever read Jacob's life knows you have to believe in grace. Are we together? We just want to end there. Praise the name of the Lord. We end with Jacob. Anyone that ever read of Jacob's life, you have to believe in grace. It's grace in Jacob and perfection in Joseph. Nothing against him in the Bible. A perfect man. A perfect, uh, a perfect of Christ. Then we find that the patriarchs went down into Egypt and they, they lived and the tribes sprang up and covered the land because God promised it to Abraham. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. My, 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 my. We haven't touched our scriptures. Amen. Do you see that, friends? Grace I'm talking about. The Bible says in Matthew, in, in, in Matthew chapter 1, Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. But David, who is the father of Christ, the Bible goes on to say, he beget Solomon by another man's wife. We don't want to touch that chapter. Because to me, it's a chapter of grace. Amen. Amen. But then the Bible goes on to say that that David is in the lineage. You cannot talk about Jesus without talking about David. You cannot talk about God without talking about, about David. Because when we talk about the word becoming flesh, David is in that lineage of the word becoming flesh. But he had a son with another man's wife, yeah. who is the wife of Urias. Let's leave it. We don't have time for that. Are we together? Amen. Hey, man. That's what grace is all about. Are we together? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Then if, we, if Brother David was in our church here, Men would have said, Pastor, please chase away this boy. He will bring boils into our congregation. Hey, man. But without David taking the wife of Urias, there is no Jesus. Okay. Let us not be fascinated with that. Anyone that believes in grace, if you read the life of Jacob, then you will believe in grace. You ought to believe in grace. Are we together? Then the life of, jo of Jacob starts like this. They were twins in the womb of, uh, uh, of Rebecca. Are we together? And there was commotion in the womb of Rebecca. Even the Bible says when the boys were delivered, Jacob was holding on to the, to, to the feet of Esau. Right. Then you need to believe in grace. Yeah. Are we together? Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Then the, the boys grew up. Jacob became, uh, Esau became a cunning hunter. Loved of the father because of the great exploits in the, in the hunting arena. Praise the name of the Lord. Then Jacob was loved of the mother because he was a sissy boy. Are we together? Then in Genesis 25, he exploited the hunger of his brother. Instead of simply helping, he took advantage of that hunger. Are we together? Blessed be his holy name. Hallelujah. And he took the birthright. But after the birthright transaction, everything goes on well as normal as it was. And there was peace in the valley as if nothing has happened. Yeah. But when it seems as if nothing has happened, it does not mean nothing has happened. 
Even after this service, you just say God bless you and you go home. As if nothing has happened. But however, when it seems nothing has happened, great things would have happened. Because we are depending on the unseen. The things that we see. Amen. Are there as a result of the things that we don't see. So Christianity rests on the unseen. Life continued on. Blessed be the name of the living God. When David was anointed king by Samuel, praise the name of the living God, after he was anointed, the following morning he went back to the pastures of the food. He remained a shepherd boy, but he was yet anointed king. As if nothing has happened. God giving critics a leeway to criticize so that at an appointed time you will silence the critics. Are we together? Blessed the name be the name of the Lord. He went back to the, to the pastors of his father. As if nothing has happened. Back to the spiritual eye. He was anointed the king. He was the king anyhow. Where he was did not mean nothing. Where you are does not mean anything. But a man's destiny is not connected to where he is today. Sometimes your future is completely de detached from where you are standing. Praise the name of the Lord. That is the reason why you should have a discerning eye. Praise the name of the Lord. Are we together? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Then 400 men who were in death and everything else, men who were sick and tired of life, men who were, who were ready to die, amen, they come to the cave. And all other people, even the king who was nearby, could not accept David in his home. How can a king accept a vagabond in his house? But 400 men with proper discernment, they come by the, by the mouth of the cave. They said, we, we don't care where you are today, but we are here, we are at your disposal. And David, a street kid, arranged an army. He started to appoint them. You are the general of the air force. You are the general of the ground force. You are this and that. You are that and that. Who told you that where you are standing will not change? So one day you walk out, out of the valley, amen, and see on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 My, 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 my. Sure the devil is a liar. We preach a life changing Jesus. He is not changing lives tomorrow, no. He is changing lives now. He is changing lives today. He is changing lives here. Things will change. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise it be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise it be to God. Amen. And in Genesis chapter 27, the mother, early in the morning, she was busy, you know, by the, by, by, by the yard. And she overhear a conversation between the, the Isaac and Esau. She heard Esau saying to Isaac, today, I want to bless you. Say, he, he, Isaac saying to Esau, today, I want to bless you. You go into the woods, you find some venison for me, and so on and so on. And the mother was, uh, appeared as if she was busy by the heart. Yet the, the ears were so attentive to the conversation. As soon as Esau walked out of the house, Praise the holy name of the living God. Are we together, friends? As soon as Esau walked out of the house. Okay, let me not say what I wanted to say. Amen. 
There are certain individuals who are supposed to walk out of their house. As soon as they walked out of the yard, then the Lord opened the flood gates of heaven and let it rain. <laughs> Hallelujah. And the mother came back to Jacob. She said, Jacob, I hate that it could pay. Somebody is going to be blessed. Amen. I heard that somebody is going to be blessed today. Amen. I heard that somebody is going to be blessed here today. Amen. I heard that somebody is going to be blessed here. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. And the mother says, I know the recipe of your father. You sit there. Do nothing. I will do all the donkey work for you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Angels are here doing the donkey, the donkey work for you. Yeah. Enjoy the comfort of your seat. Yeah. There are angels all over here. Yeah. We declare this place holy ground. Yeah. Because there are angels doing the donkey work for you. For you. For you. If you can only believe all things are possible. Amen. She went and took a little kid. Amen. She prepared it properly. Praise the holy name of the living God. She went into, she, she called Joseph, Jacob into the house. She said, Jacob, my son, take off your shoe, your clothing. She, she, she gave the son the clothing of Esau so that you can smell a little bit like Esau. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. She put the the, the skin right here on the on, on the hands. Praise the name of the, within no time the mother was ready. She gave it over on a silver plate to Jacob. She said, Jacob, just walk in there. Tell your father, here am I. I am Esau. Bless me. Praise be to God. If you can only believe here tonight, we can take we can take the bow, put it right there at the penalty spot. And he commanded the keeper to vacate the goals. Yes, sir. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are capable of doing that. If you can believe. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. So Jacob walked into, into the house. He said, Father, here am I. Eat Enjoy yourself and bless me. The father said by the voice is not Esau. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. But the hands, the body is Esau. Amen. But the voice is not Esau. Praise the name of the Lord. That's who I am. Hallelujah. This body is not Christ. But the inside is him. Praise the name of the living God. That's who I am. Greater is he in the inside of me than the one that is in the world. Praise the name of the living God. Are we together, friends? He said, Father, eat. The man enjoyed himself. After the eating, he said, My son, be blessed. My son, be blessed. Daughter of Zion. Be blessed. Son of Abraham, be blessed. Hallelujah. He said, my son, be blessed. Be thou multiplied. Become your family. And become your district. And become your province. And become your nation. Amen. That's what multiplication is all about. You start as a man. You become a family. You become a community. You become a world. You become a district. You become a province. You become a nation. Not just a nation, but be a superpower nation. And thy children shall possess the gates of the enemies. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Then Jacob walked out of the house. He went to the mother. The mother says, Are you blessed? 
Jacob says, ah, mommy, tell me the equation. How does these things operate? Does it mean all the cattle here are mine? Does it mean everything here the father has is mine? The mother says, no, you will remain with nothing in your hands. But however, you are blessed. The mother says, did the father speak? Did the father say something? And Jacob says, oh yeah, almost for an hour he was just saying something. And the mother said, every word that has proceeded out of your father. Every word. Amen. That has proceeded out of your father's mouth. Will you forever come to pass? The mother says, everything that, the, that your father says, there is no power in the universe. There is no power on earth. Even under the earth, that can deny the voice of your father. In the other way, the mother was saying, your father's voice is the final voice as far as your life is contained. Praise the name of the living God. Are we together, friends? The same law applies here tonight. Praise be to God. Before the word proceeded out of the mouth of God, Eliezer, before he went over to look for Rebekah, Abraham called him unto himself. He said, put your hand under my thigh. He put his hand under his thigh. He swore that he will bring a wife unto his son Isaac. Every way before it proceeded out of the mouth of God, it has to touch the thigh of the master. Because under the thigh of Abraham, there was a name of Rebekah written. Let's leave that. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. My word will not return unto me void. It will never and it will never is an insult to the kingdom of heaven that we preach things that will never happen. No, say whatever I said here, whatever I will say tomorrow, whatever I will say on Sunday, there is no power in the universe that can stop it from happening. Even if you don't believe, the word does not rest on what you believe. Sometimes the word gets so exhausted with its assignment uh, until it forgets about your faith. In the days of Noah, they did not believe, but the word said it doesn't matter. I will bring it to pass. You are blessed, this daughter of God. I mean it, and you are blessed. The blessings will never come back to me. And then Jacob walked out of the house. As soon as he walked out of the house, Esau walked in. He said, Daddy, here am I. And Jacob says, Oh my, uh, who are you? He said, I'm Esau. He said, But uh, whom did we bless? Esau knew the character that he needed grace, which is the character of Jacob. He said it's none other than Jacob. We are pointing somewhere. Mm. And Esau said, Father, can you just do something for me? The father says, my son, the problem with what I say is one. If I say it's irreversible, the moment it proceeded out of my mouth, I also become powerless of what I say. Praise the name of the living God. What I say gets out of my control. I only got control of it if it is still in me. But the moment I release it through my mouth, I get out of control. So what I said to Jacob, it's irreversible. 
is irreversible. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Irreversible. Amen. Praise the holy name of the living God. Is anybody father? What a little, 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 little. No, no, it's irreversible. Amen. And the mother looked at the face of Esau. He went to, jo- to Jacob. He said, Sonny, he's a murderer. His DNA is a murderer. Yes. I knew him. You go down to Padadaran to my brother. But the issue of going down to Padadaran was a twofold issue. He wanted him to run from Esau. At the same time, he did not want Jacob to marry among the people. Because he had a problem with the wife of Esau, who was from the neighborhood. So he wanted Jacob to go and marry amid his happy people. But the issue of marriage was packaged nicely. So that Jacob cannot see it. But the mother just said, I know he's a murderer. You just go down there and so on and so on. But in the mother's mind, she knew that this boy will never return without a wife. Oh. Even in these meetings, if you want a wife, why do you want to go without one? Even if you want money, why do you want to go without it? Why? Why do you want to go back after the meetings and face the same problems? We are here to assassinate those problems one by one, one by one, one by one. Somebody shout one by one. Yeah. Praise the name of the living God. Are we together? And Jacob walked out of his mother's house with nothing in his hand, not even a change of clothing, but however he was blessed. Praise the name of the Lord. He walked out with nothing. But however it, he was blessed. You are blessed. Let the devil hear me. You are blessed. Not according to my measure, but according to your measure. You are blessed. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The days of the Bible are back again. You are blessed. Somebody shout, I am blessed. I am blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. You don't deserve, but yet you are blessed. Praise the name of the Lord. Are we together, friends? We are in need of blessed. So he walked out of the house without even a change of clothing. Praise the name of the Lord. And when the going gets tough, he was so tired and exhausted. He came to the place called Luz. He did not even have a pillow. He took some stones for a pillow. But it, regardless of where you are, where you are sleeping, I am saying you are blessed anyhow. Don't you mind? The present condition shall be swallowed in victory. Praise the name of the living God. My, 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 my. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. And he put his head upon the, pier, upon the stones. Amen. The man was blessed. Without nothing but he was blessed. The word has already proceeded out of the mouth of, jo- of, uh, of his father Isaac. Praise the holy name of the living God. Amen. And all of a sudden, when he was in deep sleep, he said, I saw heaven open. Yeah. Amen. Heaven opened to who? <laughs> to who? To a, to a cruel man. A man that has cheated. Not 10 years ago. Yesterday. He cheated his father yesterday about midnight 
was the same day he cheated his father, I saw heaven open. Sovereign grace from a sovereign God. At the same time when heaven was being opened for Jacob, Esau was saying in his heart, that man is evil. And yet heaven was being opened and Esau was saying, that man is wicked. It doesn't matter what they say, what he says matters. Men will forever say a lot. They will forever say a lot. But if we need people that can defy the voices of men and cling to the voice of God. I saw heaven opened. And at the same time heaven is being opened, I'm also seeing tears running down the cheek of Esau. That's what grace is all about. Not by power. Not by might. Not by what he has done yesterday. No. God giveth grace to whosoever. If if what he did counts, he was not a candidate of seeing the heaven opened. As if that was not enough, he said, I saw a ladder coming right where I was asleep. Right there where, where I was sleeping. And I saw angels descending and ascending down the ladder. Angels descending and ascending down the ladder. Praise the name of the living God. Such a cruel man. Now he's fellowshipping with, the, with the angelic beings. He's not fellowshipping with the, with the heaven. Praise the name of the living God. Then he said, this place is a special place. I will give it a new name. It's Bethel. This is the house of God. The following day, he journeyed on. He came to Laban. He said, Uncle, here am I. I'm the son of your sister, Rebecca, blah, 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 blah. You know the story. The uncle said, okay, that's, 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 that's all right, fine. There is plenty of room in the inn. You can enjoy yourselves, yourself here. So after a while, then he looked at Russia. Something spoke in the inside. Then he went straight to Sekuru, to Ango. He said, Ango, I love Russia. Laban said, but you don't have money, you're a poor man. <laughs> Laban was wrong. The man was blessed. <laughs> Laban spoke out of the limitation of his sight. But in the actual sense, the man was rich. So he says, oh, okay, you can work for her for seven years. He said, that's fair and fine. I can do that. No problem with me. Then he started to work for Russia for seven years. After seven years, there was a, there was a party, there was a feast, and he was cheated, and they pushed into the bedroom. Russia, Leah, you know what happened at early in the morning? The man was so furious. He came to Laban and he said, but how can you do that? And Laban says, no, 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 no. We are playing your usual cards. <laughs> the one that you understand better. My, 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 my. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. My. And he did not love Leah. But many years before, the Bible says, Levi paid the tithe in the leons of Abraham. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> my, 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 my. And Levi was a son of Leah. So, <laughs> my, so before he was cheated, in other words, Laban was did not cheat Jacob, 
But otherwise, Laban, praise the name of the Lord, Laban pushed Jacob into the will of God. Before he was cheated, God knew of of Levi, and it was recorded that when Abraham was still childless, Levi paid the tithe in the legions of Abraham. My, praise the holy name of the living God. He knows my name. He knows my name. Praise the name. He knows every tear. He sees every pain. He knows everything about you. Are we together? Blessed be the name of the living God. And Jesus, praise the name of the Lord, is of the tribe of Judah. And Judah is the son of Leah. Oh yeah, sure. Man's you match it. Praise be to God. Are we together, friends? Blessed be the name of the living God. Don't you cry. Don't you complain. Whatever terrain the Lord took you through, enjoy the ride. He will give you grace to sail the bumps of the roads. Praise the holy name of the living God. Are we together, friends? So as much as Jacob was so hated, heaven was rejoicing. God was seeing Judah coming. God was seeing Levi coming. Blessed be the name of the living God. He was seeing all those guys coming over. Praise the holy name of the living God. Are we together, friends? My. After seven years, he was given Russia. My. Then there is something over there. During the course of working for Russia, he discovered that he was being impoverished there. He was being wasted. We are refusing that spirit. Don't allow the devil to waste you. You are too special to be wasted. No. Praise the name of the Lord. You are too special to be wasted. Then he devised a plan. You know, he took, he took off some, uh, some of the backs of the tree and so on and so on. But if you want to try it today, you go and do it, it will never use the results. Go do it. And come back here and say and tell me that okay, all the all the all the cattle of our father now they are spectacle that will never work. Amen. What works there was not the the, the 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 popular tree and so on and so on. What works was what Isaac had spoken. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because the prophet said. All the cattle, the spectacle of the cattle, the prophet said, Jacob did not take them from Laban, but he was given them by God. My. Praise the name of the Lord. So the man cheated again. Are we together? And during the course of time, then John Joseph was born. But then Joseph is another speech which cannot live in slavery. No. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus, Jacob, Joseph is another speech which cannot live in that house of Laban. Somehow, when Jacob, Joseph was born, he looked at Joseph. Something told him. It's time to go back to the land of your father's sepulchers. Are we together? Amen. Because in Jesus Christ is our Joseph. Amen. Praise be to God. Let's leave it over there. Glory be to God. My, 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 my. Glory be to God. And then you over here, 
the boys of love and saying, you know, this man is now richer than our father. Hey, man. What made him rich? The blessings of our father make it rich. Hey, man. And he went straight to Laban and he said, my time is up. I'm going back. Amen. And he went back to the land of his fathers. Hallelujah. Where he walked out with nothing. Then Esau found him by the way. He welcomed him by the way. And Esau was shocked. He says, my brother Jacob, what are all this? Jacob says, this is what God has done for me the day I walked with nothing from the land of my father Sepaukas. In other words, this is what Isaac has spoken of me. In other words, this day, this scripture is fulfilled. Praise the holy name of the Lord. The neighbors will be shocked one day. Amen. The neighbors will be shocked one day. I believe it with everything that is within me. The neighbors will be shocked one day. Amen. When he returns to the land of his father, Sepulchus, where he walked without even a change of clothing, he went back not just a Jacob, he went back a real prophet. Are we together? Amen. With everything. Let's conclude. Let's conclude. Let's conclude. Let's conclude. Praise the name of the living God. So the man went back there until he died over there in the land of his father, Sepulchus. Praise the holy name of the Lord. But do you see the life of Jacob? Which the prophet says, when you look into the life of Jacob, you will believe in grace. You will see the story of grace. The life of Jacob has been the story of grace. Now we come over into the book of Exodus. Chapter, was it chapter 3? Moses is attracted by the burning bush. He went over there. And there was a discussion there. With the unseen. Praise the name of the Lord. And God said unto, Jack, and, unto Moses. Moses. I am the God of Jacob. Do you hear me? God says, I am the God of Jacob. What are you saying? <laughs> then listen to this. In the book of Numbers, the sum total of the life of Jacob is now given. The Bible says, God is not a man that he should lie. We are talking about Jacob. Hallelujah. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said and shall not do it. Hath he spoken and shall not make it good. Behold, I have received a commandment to bless. And he hath blessed and cannot reverse it. Verse 21. He hath not beheld iniquity in Jacob. Amazing grace How sweet Is us Listen to this He is not Arkunzi is not that God He is not Beheld Iniquity in Jacob Neither Have he as he seen Perverseness The cruelty Praise the name of the, the cruelty. He has not seen perfectness in Israel. Oh my. 
amazing grace. How sweet the sound. My. Listen to this, what the prophet is saying here. We are right at the end of the page, so don't worry, we are done. He goes on to say, look at Jacob, a dirty. Don't say this to sacrilegious, but Jacob, a little shy, is hanging under the mother's cocktail all the time. Running around a little sissy boy, put things over him and went and deceived his father to get the blessings, but he was given to him before the foundation of the world. That's the message of grace. He cheated his father, but he was given the blessings before the foundation of the world. Are we together? Listen to what he says. Sure he did. Went out there and lied to his father-in-law and took some spectacle trees of popular sticks and put them in the water to scare the cattle. and when they were pregnant to make them bring forth spectacle the cattle so he could cheat and get them cattle. God, God bless him in it. Yes. Do you hear me? He says that's right. But then... The prophet is now underlining the life of Jacob with what the book of Numbers said. He said, Woe unto any man that says anything about Jacob. Are we together? Glory be to God. Somebody say hallelujah. We are not done yet. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Then Jesus Christ Ah, uh, okay. Matthew chapter 1. We have only spoken of David. But the Bible says, verse 1, Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Let's just talk about Abraham and forget about everybody. Abraham did not believe God in the real essence. If Abraham believed God, where did Ishmael come from? Tell me. Ishmael was a living product of Abraham's unbelief. That's what the prophet said. Are we together? Ishmael was a walking product. The unbelief of Abraham had hands, had legs, had eyes, had everything. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. He went over to King Abimelech. He said, Abimelech said, but who is this? Abraham said, she is my, my sister. He lied. Praise the name of the living God. Are we together, friends? Blessed be the name of the living God. But then, more than 2,000 years later, the apostle Paul came on the scene. And God said to Paul, I want to give you this great honor to write Abraham's biography. And, and Paul started to write Abraham's biography. And he started by saying, Abraham staggered not only the promises of God through I believe, but Abraham was strong, giving thanks unto God. What are you saying about the next system? That's your homework. You said Abraham staggered not. Praise the name of the Lord. What was that? There are certain aspects of Abraham's life story which Paul omitted. Yeah. 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 Are we together? Yes. When you talk about Rev Meir, yeah. there are certain aspects of his stories, yeah. of his life story, which you must deliberately omit. When you are talking about anyone's life, there are certain 
things which we are supposed to omit. But they who spoke about it, though they are correct, God in the wrath of God will descend upon you for telling a true story as it is. That's what the grace of God is all about. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the living God. Are we together, friends? Amen. Men have got some issues. You've got some information that you have. But you must know how to talk about those things. The Bible says Nebuchadnezzar was given the kingdom by God. That's one thing for sure. And he knew about it for all these years. And God was happy with that knowledge in Nebuchadnezzar. But one day, Nebuchadnezzar started to talk about the true things which God has done in his life. And he says, oh, this kingdom here. He has, been, he has been given me, not by might, not by power. He has been given me by God. When he said that, God says, no. You were simply supposed to omit that part. Because you did not omit it, you, tomorrow you will be an oxen. Okay, let's, let's hear what the prophet says. I think of Abraham of all the, me, the mistakes that he has done, and Moses and his mistakes, Abraham's commentary was written. When the divine commentary was written, when Paul wrote Abraham's commentary, he never mentioned one thing about Abraham, see, any belief. He never mentioned about Abraham, see, any belief. Blessed be the name of the living God. No, no, never was even counted to him. He said Abraham staggered not on the promises of God through unbelief. But was strong and gave him praise unto God. Then he goes on to say, my humble prayer is, before the grace of God that's here this morning, I hope that mine is wrote like that. That he won't see the mistakes. That when my commentary is written, that it won't be read out that I made mistakes and I done wrong. But it will only see the things that I tried to do for him. Amen. You will take the grace of God that I believe in. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Right. Where I'm solemnly trusting for upon... Uh, my only merit, I could not more go in the nanny of the rest. But upon the grace of God, I'm, uh, I'm depending. Yes, sir. It's Amen. grace that I'm depending on. Let's stand upon our feet. Amen. Then the prophet says, as the musicians come and take their positions, the prophet says, when we go the other side, Amen. when we hear... Down the valley somewhere there, somebody singing amazing grace. You must say, oh God, you thank God, Brother Branham has made it. Amen. Amen. Because our story here on earth is nothing, but it's just the story of his grace. Let's sing that song, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. God be with you and God bless you tonight. Amen. How sweet the sound that's heard.